Hey, it's Patrick from Possum Ball Motorsport and we're giving you another update on the Billet Block project. So we've done a bit of work on the suspension. We've dummy fitted the engine, uh, started fuel system upgrades and we've also relocated the battery. So we'll go into a bit more detail and show you what we've done. So to begin with, we have fitted a bunch of components to the engine in order to install it here for the dummy fit, which included all our kind, um, kind mounts for the engine, the pitch stop and the transmission. We've also fitted up the NVIDIA headers and twisted turbo kit. So they've been installed. Um, the twisted turbo up pipe has to be modified in this case because we are running a different turbocharger. The new G-Series has a V-band outlet and we're running a different flange on here. So it will need some modification. Um, we've also installed the sandwich plate for the remote process waste oil cooler that we're going to fit into the front. Now that we've got all these components fitted and the engine sitting in the car, we're going to be working out all the piping for fabrication. So there'll be quite a lot of stuff that needs to be done in that respect. The next step will be to modify the existing up pipe to suit the Garrett G30 770, which is using a V-band flange. So we're going to modify that and work out the final position of the turbocharger. The Garrett G30 770 has been chosen for this car as it can produce up to 770 horsepower. It is a very new and efficient design and it will give the driver the chance to get to know the car producing a, a very good amount of power without overwhelming the driver with, with all the massive, massive power that the engine is capable of. So, the idea is in the future um, to upgrade to a larger turbocharger and then utilize the full potential that the billet block offers, talking about a thousand horsepower. Suspension wise, we have also performed a bunch of upgrades, including front and rear wide line sway bars with sway bar links. And we've got this nice uh, KW V3 suspension installed. So in the front, we have a 26 millimeter two-way adjustable sway bar. And then in the rear, we've got 22 millimeter that is three-way adjustable. So plenty of options to play around and fine tune them. The KWV3 comes with uh, a bunch of adjustments, including the dampening and rebound. We also have a height adjustment and we are ex running external reservoirs. They are quite a nice uh, premium shock uh, and a very good combination for a road legal race car like this one here is, and will definitely help improve the handling significantly. The car already came to us with a bunch of brake upgrades. So we have a floating gyro disc rotor. The floating design helps to reduce brake fade and the discs can stay hotter without cracking as easily. So it's, it's a good upgrade for a race car like this. We also got endless brake pads in there and we've just installed braided brake lines with a clutch line as well. Um, once everything's assembled, we'll run the Motel RBF 660 brake fluid in here and that will have a, a really good um, brake setup. 
In this 2018 STI, we've got six pot front uh, calipers from the factory and they perform a great job. This car is going to run on E85, so we do need a fuel system to support this. And we've started to install our Process West surge tank. It is a nice compact unit that bolts to the firewall. And we've got two Walbro 450 liter power fuel pumps in there. Plus obviously the surge tank, which will prevent fuel surge around the racetrack, which is very important. And yeah, just a simple and easy way of upgrading the fuel system to what requirements we have to make that power. Having a small surge tank like this, it prevents fuel surge by basically having that small container always full of fuel. The pumps are always capable to pick up uh, fuel. There's no way of the fuel sloshing away from the pickup where the pump will suck up air, the engine then running potentially lean and causing damage to the engine. And obviously being a race car where the G-forces around the corners are much higher, this is very important. The pumps, the Walbro pumps that are installed in the surge tank, they do draw a lot more current. So the factory wiring is not going to be up to the task. So we are hardwiring these pumps to the battery. So we have the right grade cable and we have constant supply so the pumps can um, operate at their optimum. Part of the other upgrades or changes that we've performed in the engine bay is that we've relocated the battery. So factory battery is gone. It's very big and heavy. It's running, uh, it's running acid. So not really what we want, so we've opted for a much smaller, lighter motorsport type battery that is fully sealed. Uh, we can install it in any direction and we can fit it into the cabin as there are no harmful gases. So have a look uh, behind the passenger seat and uh, how it has been installed. In the next episode, we'll show you what fabrication work we've started with. Um, and please, as always, like, follow and subscribe us on all our social media channels. We are on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. And to get the message out there and get more people seeing what we do here.